Ladies and gentlemen, start the clapping. And please welcome the wonderful Josh How are we all doing? We all good? Sound very good. So nice. You guys are the best. It's good doing gigs for other people's audiences, I must say. I love it. Because my audience, I've been doing comedy 20 years. My audience are now pretty much predominantly heterosexual couples <laughs> where the female is the dominant of that relationship. That is, <laughs> that's everyone I perform for. I just look out and I just see a sea of men who thought, I'm not going to say that in the car. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to fight. I wanted to go see Nick Cody. I'll just go on my own. Okay, so that's <laughs> that's where I'm at. So I, I'm, I'll tell you a bit about myself. Uh, my name is Josh, and I'm 42 years old. Which it's too old to be a Josh, right? That's too old. <laughs> Joshes shouldn't be 42. Every every Josh you've met should be 27 tops. <laughs> Their band's just broken up. <laughs> they might take up teaching. That, that's every single Josh. <laughs> But I don't want to be a Joshua. You've met a Joshua. Yuck. Ugh, gross. Uh, Joshua was the kid at school whose parents wouldn't let him have nuts. Yeah, they, they weren't allergic. They just didn't trust him with nuts. They were like, no, you're going to choke. You're going to choke. So uh, I grew up in a very working class uh, family. How many people here grew up with working class parents? Yes. You can hear it. Yeah, great. So my parents, uh, very, my mum was a barmaid. My dad was a door-to-door -door nuts and bolts salesman. It's that's a tough job. Tough job. <laughs> You knock on the door, it opens easily, like, well, you don't need me, I'll be off. Uh, so, a few people, you said you were uh, working class? Yes? No? Okay, here's my test. Do you know what pink soup is? No, okay. So, this is a, this is a working class delicacy, okay? So, when you grow up working class, you quite often have uh, saveloys for your dinner, okay? Yeah, and so you boil those miscellaneous meat missiles and... Uh, <laughs> And then you have your meat, but then you also, yeah, some people over here have got it. Like, you'll have, like, the broth, and that's on the side. So, like, the Japanese have their miso soup. <laughs> I was rocking the miso poor. So, when you... <laughs> oh, yes. So, when you grow up very working class, you don't get told to dream big, okay? And the arts were something that my family did not want me to do, okay? I was I a was very artistic kid, uh, which is a slur down there in Tassie. Uh, <laughs> But it was a thing. So this is when I was 13, my mum, uh, this is Danny Tassie, my mum came over to the mainland for a bit of a girls' weekend. Her and her mates just going to all the DFOs, <laughs> just going to Gloria Jeans, ordering the hottest, weakest cappuccino they can. <laughs> just going into Just Jeans, just going, hey, hey, Kathy, Kathy, have you felt these jeans? They're so soft. Come feel these jeans. <laughs> it's called Tensile Jeans, Kathy, Tensile Jeans. <laughs> No, you're right, Tensile Jeans would be a nice name for a girl. That's a nice name, Tensile Jeans. <laughs> so she comes home, she comes home to Tassie and we're like, oh, how was your trip, Mum? She goes, oh, Josh, when I was over there in Melbourne, I saw the perfect job for you. And I'm like, what amazing thing does my mum see in my future? And she goes, I went to this place called Dracula's Theatre Restaurant and oh... <laughs> Because you can have a job and also do your drama shit. That, that's, that's... <laughs> so I did, I did a lot of drama shit, okay? And like I said, that, the drama shit is its code, okay? That's what it was then. then. So I started comedy 20 years ago. And I must say, comedy has changed a lot over the last 20 years. Okay, when I first started, it was... I was doing a gig. I won't say where. It was in Queensland, okay? And um, it was in a town. Um, let's just call it Townsville, okay? Uh, <laughs> And they introduced me to the stage. And before I even got to the microphone, a guy in the room just went, like, Gay! <laughs> I hadn't even said a word. I'd not spoken one single word, okay? And, but I knew what happened, because in his head, I grew up with people like this. So in his head, he saw me and went, Look at that little man. Look at that little guy. He's a cute little guy. He's a little cute guy. Look at him. A little cute guy. I could pick at this guy. I could pick him up. Definitely pick this guy up. I could pick him just camera around. Oh, look at me. I've got a little man guy. I've got a little guy. He's got a little guy. Little, oh, me and my little buddy. Me and my little buddy. Oh, but, oh he'd, get, he'd get heavy after all. So I'd just lie him down. I'd, I'd just, softly. I wouldn't just dump him. I'd just lie him down. Like just on, a, on, the, on the couch or maybe just a bed. Just put him on the bed. Just lie him on the bed. Oh, there you go, buddy. I'll just brush your fringe out of your face there. And, oh, oh, you look so comfy. I'll just give you a little kiss on the head. Oh, there you go. Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. What? Nah, nah, I'm not kissing him. He's kissing me. Gay! That's like... That is a split second of what's... 
Let's go. So when I was in year 12, uh, I was uh, studying uh, five subjects at my school. Uh, I went to a school called Heli College, very good school, better than my uh, high school. The high school I went to wasn't that great, okay? Uh, it was called Hi Parkland High School, and the motto was Parkland High School, bring a pen. Not great, okay? So... <laughs> This is, this is true. I, I, I found out that my old high school was mad I'm saying that joke, okay? <laughs> this is how mad they are. They took me off the wall of fame at their school. <laughs> Which proves my point. If I'm on your wall of fame, you're a shit school, okay? So... <laughs> but I was studying... These are the subjects I was studying. I was studying uh, theatre studies. I was studying literature. I was studying writer's workshop. I was studying psychology and math stage three, which is the hardest math you could do, okay? And so it was so hard after two classes... I was like, this is too hard for me, and I dropped out. But I needed to do another subject so I could go to uni. And so there was three subjects on offer. There was a science. Yuck. Who wants that? Ugh. There was another maths, and then there was dance. So I chose dance, okay? So in 1998, in Burnie, Tasmania, I chose dance, okay? So I, I fought these battles. Okay, so I... <laughs> But everyone in the dance class, I'd all been doing dance, I'd never danced before. And when I say dance, I, it's actually dance, okay? They were doing dance classes. It's a big difference between dance and dance. But I'm, I'm a quick learner, okay? I'm a quick learner. And so what I would do, I would, I would be able to do the move. I just didn't know the names for them. So I came up with my own names. I'm going to show you some of them now so you can, you can see these as well. So this is the first one, okay? This is the first one. It's called Trapped in a Jumper, okay? Trapped in a Jumper. You see, you see this like this. So that's trapped in a jumper, okay? The next one, the next one is, we all know the YMCA, right? You go to wedding to see the YMCA, okay? But this is, that's dance. This is dance, so it's got to be a bit more classy. So this is the cursive YMCA, okay? The cursive, here we go, here we go. The cursive YMCA, okay? Oh, see how it all... It all flows together, okay? Okay. Okay, the next one is called too much starch, okay? Here we go. You see that in a lot of Lucy Guerin pieces. Okay, the next one. The next one, this is my favourite one. You see this in plays as well. It's called Running, without ever having seen running before, but just reading about running from a pamphlet. Okay, this is... <laughs> they don't move their arms. Okay, the next one, uh, it's, called, it's called Having Too Much to Drink and Trying Not to Fall Off the Stage. Here we go. So it's like... And the last one was my personal favourite, which is called Brushing Off Flies, but you're embarrassed the flies are around you, so don't want anyone to notice. Okay, here we go. So. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you my Year 12 dance piece, okay? So I just put all those together, and this is how I passed dance, dance, sorry, in Year 12 in 98. So Ben, let's hit this music. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 